Whites do not want black people to meet without the supervision of whites, resulting in regulations on black meetings because of fear of black unity. Playwright Jeremy O. Harris explains blackout nights for the West End run of slave play, inviting only people who identify as black. So remember, black people can't be racist, man. So this is not racism. This is something else because we can't be racist. Better player, Larry Johnson, Sean Kemp, or Derek Coleman. Oh, I think Larry Johnson was the best player out of all three of them. Larry Johnson hurt his back, though. If Larry Johnson would have never hurt his back, I think he might have been a Hall of Famer. Sean Kemp is second. I think Sean Kemp is a Hall of Famer. I think Sean Kemp should be in the Hall of Fame. And Derek Coleman, you know, he was okay. He was all right. He was, he was a great college player. But as a pro, Derek Coleman was just all right. He was, he was good. He wasn't nothing special. But, yeah, Larry Johnson, his game was so smooth, so clean. Larry Johnson had a game that was pure. His touch around the basket, his touch in the lane, those broad shoulders. His moves on the low post. Larry Johnson was the best player out of them three. Even though he got hurt. Grandmama, yeah, grandmama. They ain't put him in a dress. He went and he got in that dress, man. He listen, that stuff was funny back in the days, man. All the, the men in the dress used to be funny, man. Everybody trying to act like they didn't think that shit was funny back in the days. We didn't have trans and all that shit and all this LGBT shit going on. So that shit could be funny back then. Niggas is trying to retroactively make it seem like it wasn't funny when Grant, when Larry Johnson was in a dress, man. And Martin and, and Mrs. Doubtfire and all that shit, man. Um... And uh, that shit was funny, man. You can't retroactively go back and make it like them niggas was gay and shit. Because at the time, there wasn't all this trans, all this LGBT stuff. So it wasn't like, it wasn't really like, oh, you being gay. It was just you being funny. <clears throat> Just being funny. But yeah, now with all this trans and LGBT stuff, people are a little more sensitive about that stuff. Seeing men in dresses. People a little more sensitive than they were back in the day. Back in the day, people more sensitive now.
But back in the day, that was comedy, man. Martin did 100 characters. Martin did 100 characters. Martin did uh, Roscoe, the security guard. He did uh, the kung fu guy. He did his mama. Martin did a thousand characters, man. Mark, they making this scene now. They trying to make it seem like Martin was just doing shenane, and that was it. Martin did a hundred characters on that show. And now everybody trying to make it seem like it was just some gay shit, whatever. No one is saying that by inviting black audiences here, you were uninvited. On Broadway, there were nights where tickets were only sold to people who identified as black. Are you going to do that in the West End? I'm so excited to, yeah. You are? Yeah. I mean, I think that one of the things that we have to remember is that um, people have to be radically invited into a space to know that they belong there. And that's not true. Black people don't be radically invited into no space. Black people just come. That's not true, bro. You just don't want white people to come to your thing. And you and, and you doing it at white theaters. He's doing this at white theaters. Because all the theaters are white. Black people ain't built no damn theater. Black folk ain't built no damn theater. Dennis Robin, only NBA player with the legs for a trip. Yeah, man, listen, man. I ain't with, like Dennis Rodman. He did too much, man. I ain't. That wasn't funny. He was like trying to make a statement. That wasn't comedy. Dennis Rodman was on some weird shit. That wasn't comedy. He was doing. Ricky Williams. That wasn't comedy. Some of these dudes, their agent should have never let them get in the dress. Ricky Williams. <laughs> yeah, what this guy talking about though he got a play called slave play the name of his play is slave play and he wants you to know he only wants black people to come see it no one is saying that by inviting black audiences here you were uninvited on Broadway, there were nights where tickets were only sold to people who identified as black. Are you going to do that in the West End? I'm so excited to, yeah. You are? Yeah. I mean, I think that one of the things that we have to remember is that um, people have to be radically invited into a space to know that they belong there. And in most of our country, in most places in the West, uh, poor people and black people have been told that they do not belong inside of the theater. If the price of that is saying to people who are just because... They Why is he... Who said that, man? Who said that, man? And why are you lumping poor people and black people in together? Who said that black people can't be in the theater, man? Who said that? Poor people and black people have been told that they do not belong inside of the theater. If the price of that is saying to people who are just because they're white, you can't come, you're not allowed in this space, does that make you uncomfortable? Well, no one's saying, listen, uh, there, there are a litany of places in our country, in all of our countries, that are generally um, inhabited by only white people. And no one uh, has questions about that. And
Hit the like button, man. Everybody hit the like button, man. Need about 66 more likes, man, to get the show started. Everyone hit the like button, man. I'm saying, listen, there, there are a litany of places in our country, in all of our countries, that are generally... Um, inhabited by only white people and no one uh has questions about that and no one is saying that by inviting black audiences here you were uninvited the idea of a blackout night is to say this is a night that we are specifically inviting black people to fill up the space to feel safe with a lot of other black people in a place where they often do not feel safe let's not act um <laughs> when the last time a white person Killed the black person at the theater, man. <laughs> you not safe at the theater, man. Wasn't Aurora? Aurora was like fifteen years ago, right? The, the Batman movie killer in Aurora, then um, Colorado. That was like the last time a white person killed a black person in the theater. The idea of a blackout night is to say, this is a night that we are specifically inviting black people to fill up the space, to feel safe with a lot of other black people in a place where they often do not feel safe. Let's not act um, uh, as though we do not know that uh, culturally, black audiences and white audiences respond to things differently. Yeah. White audiences sit there quietly and black audiences talk throughout the whole goddamn movie you will not believe what we're talking about next a west end play is going to hold exclusive all black audience nights in order to protect those theater goers from what they call white gays yes. <laughs> the white gays man <laughs> nobody's under the white gays more than me man i like the white gays man So do all everybody in the NBA, man. You ever been to the press one of you been to an NBA game, man? Them brothers on that court, man, they under they under the a white gaze like no other. That white gaze at an NBA game, <laughs> whoo. You talk about getting gays that shit. Son's getting bold, man. We get hella bold, man. Y'all better check this shit, white people. White people, check this shit, man. We need 38 more likes so I can drop the link, man. 38 more likes. R.I.P. Biggie to go, man. Man, we stunting, man. We doing too much, man. <laughs> we doing too much, y'all. The white gaze. You will not believe what we're talking about next. A West End play is going to hold exclusive all black audience nights in order to protect those theater goers from what they call white gays. <coughs> yes, really. Joining me right now to discuss this is Rakib Hassan. He's a social policy analyst and writer. Rakib, thank you for joining us. Um, I'm wondering, so you'd be allowed to buy tickets for this play, but Claire Pearsall is a former Home Office advisor and myself. We would not be allowed to do that because of our, our white gays. Um, this, I mean... I, I, I genuinely, this is the sort of thing you'd read in, in a satirical magazine a few years ago. The play is called Slave Play. It stars Kit mm. Harrington. You knew him, of course, as 